Hi, and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial series on how to use the tree view in Microsoft Access. In this part, I will show how to reload the tree view when a record is modified, and I will also be going over a few helper functions to make coding with the tree view easier. There may be parts of this tutorial that will only make sense if you've watched the previous two parts. Now, we need to make sure the tree view and the records are always synced. My usual approach is simply to reload the entire tree view each time the user changes a record, but other approaches could be to continuously refresh the tree view, or if you're having a single user application, you could simply refresh only the parts of the tree view that has changed. Now in this tutorial, I will show how to reload the entire tree view each time a record is changed, and after that, make sure the correct node is reselected in the tree view. First, let's look at what happens when we edit a record without any events coded into the tree view. I'm going to select this record here. While brewing coffee, the water intake shall be between 80 Celsius and 90 Celsius. I'm going to change this while to during and save my record. As you can see, the record now says during, but the tree view over here is still saying while. Now this is of course not desirable, so let's make sure the tree view gets updated. So we open up Design View and take our form and look at its properties, look at the event, look at the after update event, and select Code Builder. Now, as the after the form is updated, we want to load the tree view. Let's give it a go and see what happens. So, back to form view. I go back, select my record. Now since the tree view was loaded during the load of the form, it is now saying during. So I'll simply, once again, change it to while and hit save. Now you can see the tree view over here got loaded, but it didn't expand and reselect the correct node. Let's see what happens again. As I hit the save, see what happens over here in the tree view. Boom. The tree view gets reloaded, but the nodes are not expanded anymore. So let's look at how, how we can fix that. Now, to reselect the node, we need to have the key or the ID of the node. Now let's look at how we set up the ID earlier. This is the code that loads the tree view, and this is how the ID of the node was written. It was written with a bit of text saying bracket ID inside of some brackets, then the numerical primary key of the requirements and a closing bracket saying end ID. Okay, let's try, I'm just going to copy this, go over to my form requirements, the after update. So after loading this, we want to reselect our tree view. me.parent.tree requirements, that was the requirements, that was the tree view in the parent form. For ease of coding, dim tv as common control library, tree view, and set tv equal dot object. So this is uh, now the tree view reference to the ActiveX control containing the object, which is tree view. Tree view dot nodes. Now this is the code again. Dot selected equal true. Of course, I can't use the record set requirements, but I can use me dot primary key requirements because it's based on the same table and the same fields. Let's compile it. Clear up the tree view when we're done. Set TV equal nothing, and give it a go. So, I have my during brewing. I change the text to while and hit save. And you can see the tree view is expanded, the node is selected, and the text now matches. Great! Now, I also promised to have a look at some helper functions to make it easier to code with our tree view. I'll open up my module tree view. You can see, for instance, this is the part where I get the reference to the tree view. I'm going to make this into a function so that if I should make any changes to the form name or the tree view control name, it'll be much easier to get to uh, change it within the project without having to change it a hundred places. 
I'm going to make a function that returns a tree view. Public function get TV as common control library tree view. Oops. Tree view. This is going to look pretty much like the function down there. I'm just going to replace the TV with the get TV. So now I can do dim TV as Microsoft Common Control Tree View down here. Simply set tree view equal get TV. Much easier. Another function will be this function public function generate requirement node ID. Input will be the requirement ID, which is a long, long requirement ID, as string. Once again, paste this syntax down here. And make a few edits. So now we have a function that will generate the string based on the requirement ID going to replace it down here there we go so now I have converted this into a function so this will make it a lot easier should I at some point decide to change how I'm going to write the ID should I decide to include more information directly in the key, I can do that by simply changing my function. So let's once again make sure that everywhere I used to use the old syntax, such as here, gets replaced with the new syntax. And also directly in my form requirements where I selected the node. And I will also use the set TV equal get TV. You can also skip this part, you remove this, and simply say get TV. You can also see the get TV actually has IntelliSense matching that of a tree view, since Access knows that the get TV returns a tree view. It is similar to the current DB in function that the current DB returns a reference to the to the database. Let's just make sure it works. Once again, change the while to during and hit the save. Works like a charm. Thank you for listening. And I hope to see you again for part 4.